number eight from paper two of the 2017 National Five, a vector's question. Again, three marks just. Still, first bit. There's a triangle here, and it shows the vector D is heading in this direction for that amount, and vector C is heading up this way for that amount. And it says express PR. So I want to go from P to R in terms of C and D. Now what that means is, I'll just set it out, to get from P to R, since I don't know PR, I can't go along that route. My only route is to go from P to Q and then go from Q to R. I'd have to travel that way. And travelling along PQ is with D, but travelling from Q to R is going against C, so that would be the answer. And in part B, this additional point has been added on, and it says TP is the same as PQ. If the length's the same and the direction's the same, it means it's the same vector. So that's also vector D. V is the midpoint. Well, two marks this time for expressing TV in terms of Ds and Cs. Well, what's the route this time? I want to go from T to V, but obviously I can't go that way because I don't know it or I wouldn't be asking the question. So my only option is to go from T to P and then go from P to V. Now, P to V, even though it doesn't look as if I know it straight away, is part of PR and I already know PR. Didn't know it then, but I know it now. PV, since it's the middle, is half of PR. I'll just write that again. I'll go from T to P, and then I'll go halfway from P to R. Now I can just fill in the bits. TP, it said, was the same length, same direction, so TP is still the move. D, PR was made up of two parts, so I better put it in a bracket there. And then just multiplying that out, I've got D plus another half of D, so that's 3.2D but it's minus a half of C. There we go. The place safely arrived. Number nine from paper two of the 2017 National Five. There's four marks here. It's a factorization question. In fact, you've got algebraic fraction to simplify. It could just have asked you this part, but it's broken it into two parts for you. First part. Factorise this, just for the one mark, so you recognise you've got the difference of two squares. Notice there's no middle to this. That's not what you would call a trinomial, because there's only two parts, not three. So there's no common factors, so that's the one that breaks into the two brackets, where what's being squared to make this must be 2x times 2x, and what's being squared to make this must be 5 times 5, and it's a minus, then a plus. So there's your first mark. And it also gives you the top of this. So the top of that is 2x minus 5, 2x plus 5. But you also know from the nature of the question, because it asks you to simplify this, that when you do have to factorise the bottom, which will again be two parts, because this time this quadratic has got all three parts. It is a trinomial. One of them is going to be the same as one of those. So 2x squared can only be 2x times x. One in 10 could be 1 in 10 or 2 in 5, but it's got to be the 2 in 5 to match this. So it's just a case of where will you put the 2 and where will you put the 5? Well, the 2 won't go there. It can't go with the 2. The 5 must go there and the 2 goes there. So that way I've got a 5x and a 4x. If that term's negative in the middle, the 5x must win the negative states and get the negative. So this has to get the positive to make them opposite to give a negative 10 there. Now, those two parts cancel, being factors, leaving you just the 2x plus 5 over the x plus 2.